してるより愛してることを伝えてる。Star Miss Lucy, who wants to go down for another nap. And today we're going to talk about something that happened to me at the RTR. And、uh, yeah, let's talk about it a little bit in depth. Oh, she's a little ADD, isn't she? Quiet! Don't you know you're not supposed to talk about some things? So, some woman at the RTR and pulled me over and said, You know, I love most of your videos, but you know. You go a little bit in depth about the mental illness and stuff, and you should keep some things private. Back off from that subject, and I'll be a loyal viewer. <sighs> All right, so today we're going to talk about what happened at the RTR and why do I talk about mental illness? Because I had a lot of problems there that、uh, people don't know about it. But I mean, I was a little embarrassed when this woman pulled me aside, and、uh, you know, this is a stigmatism.、Um, First day at the RTR,、um, I met a guy and he had cerebral palsy. And、uh, he had no problem telling me because one of his arms was like that. But he was fully, he had a different type of cerebral palsy. And I meet people all over and they're allowed to talk about what's wrong with them. Oh, I broke my arm, you know, hiking a hill or whatever. But be quiet talking about mental illness. Do not go there. You're supposed to be embarrassed and ashamed, right? And I look at my life, why should I be embarrassed or ashamed? And plus, by me telling you, I'm helping you communicate with me.、Um, I didn't choose this path. And I know a lot of people, you know, that have kids or they themselves are born with mental illness, and that's different.、Um, and it's so funny because people that are some that have,、uh, you know, PTSD and a lot of the things that I have,、um, wait a minute. I remember we get lumped in there with drug dealers. Oh, yeah, the, all the homeless are mentally ill. And it's like, well, there's a difference between somebody that's、uh, hooked on drugs and alcoholism. You know, they may have turned to it because of their mental illness. But、um, I, <laughs> let's keep it separate, okay? Like I said, I've known a lot of parents that have had children that are born with mental illness. And some parents had kids born with a cleft palate. You know, <laughs> It's a dice game, isn't it? But believe it or not, not being able to talk about mental illness only makes it worse. It, it really does because people ruminate and,、uh, you know, that can drive you crazy too. So I'm going to tell you what happened to me at the RTR and、uh, how it was handled, all right? So it was so funny. Wait a minute. So I am going to talk about the things that happened at the RTR. And how these problems were handled, but I want to talk to you about two of my faithful companions, asphasia and dysphasia. And what that means is I can go mute at any moment, and I look funny going mute, and people think I'm having a seizure. But I'll give you a quick example. My、uh, friend's mom was cooking, and she didn't see paper behind the grill, and it was covered by a big wok, and I could see the fire shooting up behind it going up the wall. And I'm like, And they're like, What is it, Terry? And I'm like, And、uh, finally I said, Fire! And、uh, they're like, Oh, sh- you know, yeah, you know, and they put the fire out. But at the most inconvenient time,、uh, yeah, it happens. So that's why I talk about it. You know, I come with my own little warning things. I know on,、uh, at the volunteer meeting, and、uh, Sue Ann was as kind as can be, after she gave us the instructions, I put my hand up because I had a question. And then I couldn't talk. And I'll, Okay, basically, what it is is you are assigned your vest and then you、uh, turn it in at the night before, and then the next day you get a vest. And I know this coof thing's going around, and that didn't sound so insanitary, so I'm like, um, but, um, cooties. <laughs> I don't know if Sue Ann laughed, but she's, oh, I think what Terry is trying to say, and she handled it so dignified and everything. So that was、uh, one instance. Another instance that,、uh, you know, as the RTR was、uh, closing down, they put up,、uh, we were going to have a picnic、uh, for the volunteers, and they put up a list bring your plates, knives, forks, napkins, right? But there's so many questions. So I walk up to the volunteer window, and, but I can't give you, a, because this is out of my routine, I can't give you、um, words. And they're like, take your time, Terry, take your time. And it's like, Okay. Where? 
And that's all I could get out. And they're like, where what? Picnic. And, okay. You need to know where we're going to assemble at for the picnic. And, uh, you know, it, it's like, you know, it's embarrassing for me. It is. Because you all see me. I can talk. But uh, not around people. Sorry for getting a little emotional for you. Um, I, I get so sad because people don't understand. I used to read, write, and speak in German, Greek, and English. And uh, now all the languages get scrambled up. So it's hard when you lose your ability to speak. It really is. But um, another change in the routine was I, I take Miss Lucy to the dog park in the morning. She poops. And then um, we were on the field at the RTR. And oh my gosh, she let out a pile right and I was out of dog bags so I walk over to the, and I'm panicked I'm panicked because I know every, all eyes are on the parking family your dog just pooped and you're not picking it up so I run over to the booth and I ask for a poop bag and they're like because that's who had them and they're like we're all out of them and Rachel Raquel or Rachel she was so kind to me she goes use a plastic glove and then I froze up I didn't understand because this is out of my routine I understand you pick up the dog poop with a dog bag and I'm like, I'm just looking at her again. And Rachel understood I was frozen. It's called locked in a loop. And she just grabs me real nicely. Come on, Terry, I'm going to show you how to do this. And uh, she walked me over and she had the glove on her hand. <laughs> she didn't grab it, but she grabbed it. And then she did that. See, I can't even put it in words. And then she tied it off. She made a dog bag out of a plastic glove. And it's like, I understand. But, um, kind and nice and then one day I walked into not at the RTR I walked into the Tyson Wells I hate being indoors I'm very claustrophobic that's why I love the uh, uh, quartzite every almost everything's outside but I started dragging Miss Lucy around and the woman on duty she started saying hey I can tell that's not a service dog and she was very abrupt at me and I'm like okay walk and Lucy got up and started walking with me. Stop. And she stopped. Sit. And it's like, I, I forget to use my words when I go indoors. So those are a couple of problems that I had during the RTR. So this is why I tell people in advance and people, they don't know how to handle it. When I say, look, I have PTSD. It's bad. And uh, just be prepared for anything. You know, just look for, if you don't see me being normal, um, and you know, it happened a lot, but they were so kind and gentle with me. And for that, I'm really appreciative. And would I volunteer at the RTR again? Yes, of course I would, because it was such a blast, even though, you know, I do have these challenges and, uh, I don't think I should be embarrassed about it. I'm more sad about it. And I really want to take the stigmatism off of it. Um, if we can talk about, you know, anything from our cleft palate to a thing on cerebral palsy or like uh, Charlie yesterday, she was talking about Alcoholics Anonymous. Good for you. Good for you. All right. Hold on. Well, that's what I wanted to get off my chest. Um, it, it's not easy living like this. But um, I'm so grateful for all of you guys out there. And if you could smash the like button, it helps me. And, uh, you know, comment below. What do you think? Should we shut our mouths about, you know, our uh, challenges? Or should I give fair warning? All right. Bye from Monterey. And I will see you down the road. I